You all came to flight school and class is in session. Let's talk about the whale. The whale's very similar to an AVR, actually. The flight plate, the shoulders of the disc, this is all essentially an AVR mold. Now you start to see the difference on a, on a whale with this little bit blunter nose and then the little bead. This is kind of like a little small bead version. And it's really nice because it's gonna put a lot of the mass of the disc out into this rim, which is gonna give it a lot more of a gyroscopic flight. It's gonna make this disc very torque resistant. So it can handle a lot of power when you're throwing it for a backhand shot. Uh, that's very useful when you're throwing a sidearm approach with it because it's going to help stabilize the disc as it's leaving your hand. So it's going to be on a more true spin. So as far as dependability goes for a throwing putter, uh, I want something that's going to be relatively neutral in the stability spectrum. Something that's not going to be super heavy on the fade, something that's not going to turn over at high speed. Ultimately, if I can set the angle of the disc that I want to see it fly on, and then just put all the power I want into it, it's gonna be very easy to control my upshots, which is key to scoring low. For putting, if you like something that has a little bit more glide, you may find you have to put a little more power into the whale to really keep it on the same trajectory as an AVR, perhaps. You got a whale in every, every flavor of plastic here. You got the DX up to the XT, G-Star for that softer, grippier feel, and then the Champion, which is gonna really be a good go-to weapon.